Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're continuing our sequence of file handling tutorials with Python. If you're enjoying my content, please like the video, leave comments below, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications. Let's dive right into it. So in this tutorial, we're going to explore how to copy files from one directory to another using Python. So whether you need to copy individual files, replicate an entire directory, or automate file copying tasks, and it's very simple. To effectively copy files using Python, it's beneficial to have a basic understanding of file handling concepts such as file paths, file inputs and outputs, and exception handling. In this tutorial, we're going to work with the OS module and the SHUtil module, which is Shell Utility. So the OS module provides a portable way of using operating system dependent functionality, and SHUtil module provides a wide range of file operations. Both modules are a part of the standard library, so there is nothing additional to install. As the first step, similar to the previous tutorial, we'll start by creating a few sample files that we're going to work with. Let's start by creating a new folder called Sample Files. And inside of this folder, we're going to create three sample TXT files. Perfect. In addition to creating a sample folder with sample files, we'll also create an empty folder and call it new folder. We're going to use that folder to copy our files from the sample files directory into the new folder directory. Now, in this section, we'll explore how to copy a single file from one directory to another using Python. This is one of the simplest operations when dealing with file management tasks, and Python makes it straightforward with the shutil module. So let's start by importing the required dependencies. Next, we're going to define the path to the folder where the file is located and define a path to the folder to which the file will be copied. So in our case, the folder where the files are located is sample files and the folder to which we would like to copy the files is new folder. Next, we're going to define the file name. So in this case, our file name is sample underscore file one dot txt, since it is going to be the single file that we're going to copy from one directory to another. Next, we're going to get the relative full path to the file. So essentially what we need to do is concatenate our source directory with the file name. So it's going to be sample files slash sample underscore file one dot txt. And then we'll need to create the new path to file to which it will be copied. So in this case, we're going to concatenate the destination directory and the file name. Uh, so it's going to be new underscore folder slash uh, sample underscore file one dot txt. 
we're going to combine the paths using OSPath.join, which is going to simplify all of the concatenation for us. Now, once this is done, we can simply copy the file from one directory to another and also print out the confirmation message. Now let's run the code and see what we get. As you can see, the confirmation message has been printed and we can also see that the sample file one TXT was copied from the sample files folder. Uh, notice that this is only a copy operation. So whenever we're moving files from one directory to another, it doesn't automatically delete the file in the original directory. So you can think of it as if you were doing a simple copy paste of the file. In this section, we'll explore how to copy multiple files from one directory to another using Python. This is especially useful when you need to replicate multiple files from a source folder to a destination folder. The code will be 90% the same as in the previous section, except now we will iterate through a list of files and copy them one by one. Keep in mind that in previous section, we copied one file sample underscore file one txt from sample files directory to new folder directory. So now let's delete it from new folder directory. So we have the original file structure. Now, in order to copy multiple files, we're going to create a list of file names that we want to copy from a particular directory and then use a loop to iterate through the list, create the path to the original file, create a new path to the file and copy each file we need one by one. So the first several steps will rename the same since we're using the same modules, we have the same source directory and the same destination directory. But now we want to copy more than one file. Let's say we need to copy sample file one and sample file two. So how we're going to modify this code is we're going to create a list of file names. Now that we've created a list of file names, we need to iterate over this list and copy the files one by one. So essentially here we're reusing the same code, except now it is going to run inside of a for loop and we're going to apply the same code as in the previous section for every single file that we have in the file names list. So now let's run the code and see what we get.
So as you can see, the two confirmation messages have been printed and sample file one and sample file two have been copied from sample files directory to the new folder directory. In the last part of the tutorial, we'll learn how to copy an entire directory, including its subdirectories and files from one location to another using Python. This operation is useful when you need to duplicate an entire folder structure along with its contents. For this section, our code is going to look slightly different, so we can get rid of the code that we've created before. And as you recall, in the previous section, we copied multiple files from sample files directory to new folder directory. So let's delete the entire new folder directory, including the folder. So we have just the directory with sample files and the file with the Python code. To copy an entire directory from one location to another, including all of its subdirectories and files, we will use shutil library and the copy tree function. We'll start by importing the required dependency. Next, we'll define the path to the source folder and define the path to the destination folder. So in this case, we are going to call our destination directory new folder. We're going to use the same name for the folder as in the previous sections, just for simplicity. Now, once we've defined our source directory and destination directory, we can easily copy the entire directory from our source directory into our destination directory and print out the confirmation message. Now let's run the code and see what we get. As you can see, the confirmation message has been printed and you will see a new folder or new directory appearing in our project directory, which is new folder. And it has all the three files copied into it from the sample files directory. Note that if in the beginning we didn't delete the new folder directory and the destination directory already existed, the copy tree function will raise a file exists error saying that the folder already exists and it cannot create it and it cannot write files into it. So for that reason, we remove the directory as whenever the copy tree function is running, it first creates the directory and then copies the files into it. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more of my Python programming tutorials.